It's hard to imagine modern daily life without aluminium. Aluminium carries us from continent to continent, provides packaging material for our products, ensures a daily supply of newspapers, and is both a visible and invisible component of all automobiles. With the discovery of melt flow electrolysis more than 100 years ago, the technological preconditions for the industrial production of aluminium were set. The triumphant advance of this new light metal had begun, an advance that continues to this very day and has had a lasting effect on the way we view our cities. Aluminium, a material with a future, is produced from aluminium oxide, an intermediate product which is today produced worldwide from bauxite ore using the so-called Bayer process. In the early 1970s, that process, discovered in 1887 by the Austrian chemist of the same name, was refined by AOS using a globally unique method. AOS was founded in 1970 by partners VAW and Reynolds and is now fully owned by Dadco Alumina and Chemicals Limited, part of the Dadco Group, an investment, manufacturing and trading group, founded in 1915 and with offices and interests worldwide. AOS invested nearly 400 million euro in the refinery for producing aluminium oxide, where production began at the end of 1973. This AOS aluminium oxide is renowned worldwide for its high quality and is used as reference material. The raw material for aluminium oxide and aluminium hydroxide production is bauxite, a mixture of minerals with practically unlimited deposits on Earth. The highest concentrations of aluminium compounds, however, are found due to geology in the tropical zones of the Earth, in Australia, Asia, Africa and South America. These tropical ores with an aluminium oxide content between 45 and 55 percent are used by most producers today. From about four tons of bauxite, two tons of aluminium oxide are produced, which in turn provides one ton of aluminium. AOS is located on the lower reaches of the river Elba, and so bauxite is shipped by sea directly from the tropics to the AOS port at Stade. The shipping channel of the Elbe, which is deep enough for ocean-going vessels, allows very big ships displacing more than 70,000 tons to unload the bauxite. It takes three to four days around the clock to completely unload a vessel. With every lift, the 30-ton grab removes a full truckload from the vessel. AOS processes nearly 2 million tons of bauxite per year. The transportation to the bauxite store is made by enclosed belt conveyors. Usually the bauxite is stored in the open air. As bauxite is a natural tropical ore, it may be stored without harming the environment. However, if the material is so dry that it could turn into dust, it's conveyed to a compact storehouse. Bauxite is the source material for the production of aluminium oxide. Firstly, the aluminium compounds must be removed from the bauxite with the Bayer method by means of caustic soda solution called liquor. For the purpose, bauxite is first ground into fine particles and at the same time blended with hot liquor. The second step in the production of oxide is the so-called tube digestion, a process pioneered globally by AOS to dissolve the aluminium compounds from the bauxite. At AOS, four of these tube digestion units are in use, with a length of more than four kilometers each. At first, the suspension composed of ground bauxite and preheated liquor is pumped by plunger membrane pumps under high pressure through the pipes of the pipe digestion plant. The suspension is heated to 270 degrees Celsius. 
This is done by heat recovery from other parts of the process and with environmentally friendly natural gas heating. Under these extreme conditions, the aluminium compounds are digested in the shortest space of time in the liquor. The low energy consumption of this process conserves our environment. In the red mud separation that follows, the bauxite compounds that have not been dissolved sink to the bottom of the large sedimentation vessels by gravity. The liquor, by now saturated with aluminium compounds, remains in the upper part of the sedimentation vessels and then overflows to equipment where it's cooled down to 70 degrees Celsius in counter-current heat exchange steps with cold liquor. The settled material in the sedimentation vessels is withdrawn from the bottom, washed several times and filtered off. The waste product of the aluminium oxide production is the so-called red mud. It's stored on the firm's own residue disposal area after the liquor has been separated and returned to the production process. The next stage is the crystallization plant. 32 vessels with an average holding capacity of 3,000 cubic meters each. The cooled down saturated liquor is seeded with added ready-made aluminium hydroxide crystals. While the liquor runs through one vessel after another, the dissolved aluminium compounds form into aluminium hydroxide crystals within approximately 40 hours. To prevent the crystals, as in these specimens, from sinking down, the liquor has to be permanently stirred. The last vessel already contains almost 50% of solid matter. In the filtration process that follows, the aluminium hydroxide crystals are separated from the liquor first by means of fabric-covered disc filters by way of vacuum suction. The biggest part of the separated material is returned to the crystallization plant as seed crystal. The product itself is once more washed on drum filters, freed from alkali, and has now become the marketable moist aluminium hydroxide with 7% remaining moisture. If the customer wants a dry hydroxide, the adhering moisture can be dried away in a specialized drying plant. Both hydroxide qualities, moist and dried aluminium hydroxide, are sold for so-called special uses by the sole shareholder of AOS, Dadco Alumina and Chemicals Limited, to more than 200 customers all over the world. Examples of special uses. The production of water treatment and waste treatment chemicals. The replacement of phosphates and detergents. As fire retardants in synthetic materials and textiles. As well as in the glass and ceramics industry. Finally, in the fluid bed calcination furnaces, the chemically bound water is removed from the hydroxide. The aluminium hydroxide is more or less roasted at 1000 degrees Celsius. The final product is aluminium oxide, a snow white powder. This basic material for the production of aluminium is stored in a concrete silo holding 60,000 tons. The aluminium oxide is transported by railway and ship to aluminium smelters for the production of primary aluminium. AOS produces more than 900,000 tons of aluminium oxide and aluminium hydroxide per year. The company has 500 employees and uses a technically complex process that is unique worldwide and that yields aluminium oxide of high purity with the lowest consumption of energy. AOS leads the world in low energy consumption for aluminium oxide production. AOS, with quality to success.